We get back to our roots with traditional buoys today on the V Blog at Bud K. Hi, I'm Nathan Lawson, and thanks for watching. Now, traditional buoys, some display and others are fully functional. We will walk through them all. But now I wanted to take a moment and answer an interesting comment that we got from a subscriber recently on the quick clip video for the 1 million volt self-defense stun gun cell phone. A link is on the screen now for the quick clip along with the review and I've got one here now. Fully working. Now these million volt stun guns are highly lethal says the commenter. 450 volts are enough to kill a human. Either they're fake or false advertisement. Okay, to answer the comment up front they are neither fake, nor is this false advertising. But I understand where you're coming from. I mean, how is it that 1 million volts doesn't kill you when a 110 volt house socket puts you 6 feet deep? Well, it's not the volts. It's the amps that are dangerous. Now, a person can receive a 25,000 volt shock of static electricity from a doorknob on a dry day without harm. The psychological effect of electrical shock is determined by, one, the current, two, the duration, and three, the power source that produces the shock. Now, the typical household current of 110 volts is dangerous because it can pump many amps of current throughout the body indefinitely. Now, by contrast, a taser with the power supply of an alkaline 9 volt battery, like our 100 volt, 100,000 volt stun gun, is capable of supplying less than three watts of electrical power for a short period of time. Now, you see, it is because you only have about half the information. It's impossible to discuss the danger of voltage without also discussing amps. Compare dropping a bowling ball 100 feet onto someone versus dropping a ping pong ball. Now the height of the drop can be compared to the voltage, but the weight of the ball can be compared to amps. A 110 volt house outlet has 16 amps. In contrast, a Christmas tree bulb has one amp. And most stun guns have .003 amps. So I hope this clears up this issue for any viewers who are wondering how it is that these things are called non-lethal. There you go. Okay, let's get on to our first buoy review of today. Okay, first up we have the Trade Corby Large Fixed Blade Black Gray Handle Knife retailing it for $83, but it's on sale at Bud K for $54.99. Now this is a stainless steel 12 inch blade with a black and gray wood handle which also includes a leather sheath. That's 17 and a half inches overall. Now, M. Wessel from Colorado says, okay, this thing is a sight to behold. It's as long as my forearm and weighs as much as a cat. The sheath is a heavy saddle style leather and has a lovely crosshatch design. I took it out in the backyard to see how it fared clearing some brush. It passes through twigs and rose bushes like they were even there and took care of a large dry branches yeah, with three or four chunks. It's a great finish and a nice balance. Now I'm a big man at six foot four, so keep in mind this is a large blade. <laughs> My daughter refuses to call it a knife. Yeah, it's a blade. sword. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Damn, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. <laughs> and you just got yourself completely wet. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, next we have the Jungle Buoy Knife, retailing for $25, but it's on sale at Bud K for only $17.99. Now, the Jungle Buoy Knife is 17 inches overall and features a 12 inch sharp stainless steel sawback blade and features a hardwood handle with solid brass, tan guard, and palm. This knife will give anyone who crosses this path a good case of jungle fever. It comes complete with a quality leather sheath. Now, Angela from Alabama says, I put this knife through its paces, and it has withstood nice. all its challenges. It's very good as a tool and as a showpiece. It cuts easily, sharp out of the box, and slices through the toughest of limbs. There we go. There we go. Nice. Show sure that in. Yeah. Okay, next we have the Gilhibben HTF Recon Buoy Knife, retailing for $92. Now 
This will sell Budkay for $49.99. Now, for over 50 years, Gil Hibben has been producing custom blades. He has created and designed for top Hollywood personalities, such as Sylvester Stallone, John Wayne, and even Elvis Presley. Now, there is no doubt that any Hibben knife is one that is made to last. This knife is constructed with a heavy-duty laminated wood handle surrounded by a stainless steel guard. The blade is constructed from 420 stainless steel. It includes a top grain, genuine leather sheath, 10 inches overall, as a 5 and a quarter inch blade. The W. Bass from South Carolina says, I have owned a few knives over the years, but this is by far the highest quality knife. Well worth every penny. Quality all the way around. Clean cut. Yep. Right, next up, we have a display piece. The Wolf Fixed Blade Bowie Knife with Antler Sheath, retailing for $37, but still sell at Budkay for only $24.99. Now, this knife display set features an 11 and a half inch knife with a faux antler handle with a full color wolf scene and a six and three quarter inch stainless steel blade with a wolf scene etched along its length. And the knife is presented on a display stand constructed from a wood base and a faux deer antler upright to hold the knife in position. Now, this item is a beautiful display piece that will def definitely complement your decor. Now, Lindsay from Oklahoma says, beautiful blade. Absolutely love it and the base. I will definitely be buying more from Bud K. All right, finally today, an absolutely beautiful bowie. We have the Gil Hibben Old West Bowie Knife, retailing for $162, but it's on sale at Bud K for less than $100, $94.99. This elegant recreation offers a hardwood handle accented with the gold-plated blade catcher and guard, which is reminiscent of the styling of the original board. Now, the classic 14-inch 420 stainless steel blade features a crisp mirror finish. It includes a genuine leather sheath with a black brass-plated star. This monster is 20 and a half inches overall. Now, Harold from Louisiana said, this is one fantastic oh, knife. Great blade, yeah. nice leather sheath, and it's a good awesome. weight. An absolutely steal for the price. Blade, it definitely <laughs> resembles the original. Ooh. <laughs> Man. And of course, that wraps up this week's V-Blog Bud K. As always, send us your video responses on your preferences to what your favorite traditional buoy is and why. Email your comments, suggestions, vlog at budk.com, vlog at All your requests can go there. Check out budk.com slash videos for all the videos produced here at Bud K. Now, we are halfway through the PNC2, the Pick and Choose 2, so you have plenty of time to look through and pick your favorite Bud K products. From all of us here at Bud K, I will see you next go around. I'm Nick Lawson. Thanks. My latest shoes. <laughs> There's a video there. Got some stuff on my latest shoes. Those your old man, uh, honey shoes. <laughs> yeah, like that, but this time aim for it. Oh. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> okay, anyway. It's okay, Seth. Just, just calm down. Just calm down. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be hey, no, the term on the term on YouTube is epic. This is okay, gonna be ready? epic. Ready? Yeah, well, okay, practice it though. Yeah, practice it. <laughs> Do that. Be okay, practice that again. Yeah. But cool. remember, lock that. Sh lock that. Yeah, remember to turn the knob. Yeah. Though, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cool. All right, and three. <laughs> awesome. Oh man! Shout out today. That was a shout out today. That was good, man. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs>